Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. My name is Jacqueline. I'm doing a twin flame, uh, no, uh, divine masculine reading. Um, please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you're new here to the channel. Please bear in mind that these readings are timeless and whenever you find it, it's meant to it's meant for you to find it. Also, this reading, take what it resonates and let the rest go. So we'll see for the Divine Masculine energy. What is the Divine Masculine energy? Oh, this is beautiful. The Divine Feminine have got the same cards. At least this one. Inner Child. Mask. Healing. Communication. Okay, so let's see what else. So your div you Divine Masculines are renewing your energy. And recovering from uh, wounds of self-love or insecurities, inner child issues. You are developing your self-love, your security, stability of your inner child. Core wounds, healing and mask what you didn't see. You're recovering from a lot of shadow work. Uh, perhaps a bit rejection. That you were rejected in the past, that someone didn't treat you the way you sh it should be, or you didn't treat yourself the way you should. So, this is really a renewal of positive energy, and this is beautiful because this is what you were waiting for. But uh, in a person is also divine masculine and feminine energy. So, divine feminines, if you're watching this, cross watch us. Please check out the Divine Feminine Energy and see an overall um, reading. Um, the healing of the heart chakra from sadness and pain. Perhaps you weren't, uh, you weren't appreciated in the past or you didn't appreciate yourself or you had a lack of self-worth. Everything is now uh, healing and coming into a new uh, energy. You are getting clarity, clarity uh, through communication or communication with yourself or with someone else or communication with your guides and the ancestors. So what is meant for you is now healing those wounds. Perhaps you are already uh, gone through it or this is what is uh, going to happen in the coming a few weeks. Um, I have a feeling it has to do with uh, a fear of commitment because of a lack of self-worth, because of a rejection in the past, someone didn't treat you well or didn't appreciate you or didn't value you as, as it should, or you yourself didn't do that, shadow work, fear of commitment and fear of abandonment abandonment issues could also be and I have a feeling uh, the vibration in yourself the higher energy energetic energetic vibration is rising now because you are rising and going through a portal a portal of healing a portal of support for yourself putting yourself first instead of others and um, now letting go, I have a feeling you accepted everything in your childhood and now you are getting clarity, getting uh, clear, the truth is you have a, re a revelation and you see yourself as the divine being you are and the vulnerability will heal also. I have a feeling it has to do with issues that you had, um, that you felt responsible for the energy others had, that you felt responsible for uh, in, in relationships and that you are afraid, you were afraid to talk, you were afraid to speak your truth and you were afraid to speak your mind and you, your emotions, that you didn't appreciate those emotions or 
that you block those emotions and now because I couldn't find the words right and perhaps you had that in the, say, in the, in the past also that you couldn't find the right words to put yourself first or in this relationship perhaps you had to do with something to do with a narcissistic ex and that you couldn't find your ma divine masculine energy and you couldn't find your uh, your strength your power your um your true authentic self that it was difficult for you to rise up into that authentic self this is what i'm feeling here um, a lot of you have dealt with um, perhaps you didn't have feelings of security in the past when you were a child from your father or your mother but i have a feeling it has to do more with your father father issues that you didn't feel secure didn't you, that you didn't feel loved or you didn't feel, did feel rejected and this is now healing or coming to a healing sacred sexuality accessing the unified field has to do with the sacral chakra sacral chakra is also um has also to do with finding your worth your self-worth and um security divine order practice patience okay so the divine feminine had the same message so i have a feeling it has to do with both energies in your system that need to be balanced so please check also the divine feminine message because it resonates and it it lifts it it balances everything out i am enough let go of expectations perhaps you didn't feel enough but you're transforming this now because of the butterfly and you couldn't see it and everything you 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 got your hands on was negative but you are enough you are enough and your whole vibration your energy is enough but you need to see it for yourself and perhaps you don't see it at the moment you have a mask on and you can't see it you also you only see negative stuff but you have to see the truth that you aren't rejected that perhaps you you reject yourself you reject your power you reject your energy and and open up your heart chakra release all that sadness release all that pain get clarity get get the truth out but you're suspicious if someone tells you uh, i love you or i um, i value you you are suspicious if that's really the case so don't don't uh, be suspicious about it okay everything is falling out this was first okay high priestess expanding consciousness so expand your awareness expand your consciousness and know that divine masculine and divine feminine need to merge together divine feminine so your divine feminine energy masculines is now be vulnerable be um, intuitive listen to your intuition listen to your uh, your feelings acknowledge them they they are meant to be with you until you can release them for your just for your just journey past life healing so perhaps it has to do with past lives a vortex that is open energy vortex that is open from a past life or it could be that you're dealing with issues that ex that you experience in a past life and that you experience in this life again and you need to heal them that you uh, created this uh, incarnation to heal those issues from a past life that you um that you are uh, agreed to learn this in this life so this is very important for you to see that you need to clear your consciousness that you um, higher your conscious consciousness um what else and have patience with yourself if this doesn't work within a few days take your time you need it parting ways separation divide heartbreak this is a 
disconnect between you there is a disconnect between you but i have a feeling could be with your twin flame but there is also a disconnect within yourself and that you need to go in a separation go into hermit mode to process process this it doesn't mean that you and your twin are parted ways but there is a separation and this separation is not needed for balancing your emotions balancing your energy juggling indecision balance you are juggling in multiple things at once so you are dealing with a lot of things right now and trying to balance it but take one thing at a time don't try to do everything burdened heart obligations burdens difficulties burdens weigh heavy on the heart perhaps you are in a karmic situation right now and you need to balance it you need to clear it you need to clear everything out but you perhaps you are afraid to tell the truth to speak the truth or to acknowledge the truth the truth that you are in love with your twin flame and that you need to leave your karmic partner and perhaps you don't want to leave it so this is very important to you to do this speak your truth listen to your inner voice listen to your guidance let your intuition guide you towards the right path so you are being guided you are being guided to do this secret admirer intrigue watchful attraction you caught someone's eye of course you did with your twin flame but divine feminine but also um, you listen to your inner voice and have you have a strong bond strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions so if you are in a karmic relationship right now divine masculine it could be that you have to listen to your inner voice and you need to make a decision if you're not ready to commit right now to yourself then this is the first step to do so second chances so you're getting second chances to rebirth resurrection and revival you are being given a second chance you are being given a second chance for yourself but also for your twin flame connection so it it, it didn't stop it just needed separation time you needed your time for yourself to go within to process all the emotions to process all the blockages and if you're in a comic to comic situation to process this situation and make your decisions what you want in life and what where your heart is okay so looking inward i got that message looking inward take reflection reflect solitude planning take some time to look inward and figure out your next steps so in this uh, separation mode separation time it is necessary for you to look at yourself first heal these emotions heal this energy uh, make your decisions release your karmic partner let go of it uh, cut the karmic bone uh, bonds and there is there is a judgment call it's a, deci a decision that needs to be made a judgment call is being made using logic and reason so you are getting uh, you are making a decision regarding whether to stay in this energy or leaving a karmic behind so it could be an energy what you're leaving behind an energy of lack of abundance that you're afraid everything will won't work out but uh, you are making a decision you are making it but it's a difficult one because you didn't need to make it in the past you have options you have choices indecision this this decision could lead you down to two different paths but also to joy and happiness wedding bells so you are choosing yourself wedding bells marriage commitments union wedding bells are ringing so the union between you and your twin flame is coming together the union uh, between you and yourself your own energies is merging right now which is very important we have messages from your divine feminine so okay we are divine counterparts this connection is soul deep connection i know it do you so divine masculine do you know how deep this connection is i feel so happy when i'm with you it's like nothing else time stands still nothing compares nothing compares to you so 
um, your divine feminine is telling you that you are uh, that she is happy with you and it's like nothing else and time is standing still when you're together it's like time flies okay i don't like the way we left things so many things unsaid so many things misconstrued our ending caused me a lot of pain because it didn't even feel like an ending just pain so she is hurt perhaps you didn't speak your truth and is everything that needs to be said now is the truth all i wanted was more stability that's it to count to know i could count on you would be trust would build trust in a big way so she has trust issues and when I'm recollecting was that it was indeed for the divine feminine trust issues. You needed to trust. I feel like I'm always waiting for a connection to reach its full fullness and potential. And in my heart, I'm waiting for you. It feels like a huge black hole at times. So she's feeling lost because the connection doesn't uh, materialize or... At, uh, in the 3d this connection has taken a heavy toll emotional toll on me i need to move forward so she needs to take her energy back that doesn't mean that uh, this twin flame connection is over no it just means she takes her energy to herself and she is working on herself as you should too divine masculine work on yourself and everything will turn out for the better let's see what the tarot has to say okay so eight of wands an emerge energy surge and communication the lovers the twin flame connection and the quick and wit intellect the king of swords so you are taking a, a huge leap forward a huge step forward into connecting communicating with your divine twin but at the other hand, you are at the moment, uh, trials and tribulations, missed opportunity. You had an opportunity, you missed. You could have contacted her before, you didn't. So, but you are going to. You are going to, because you're shifting this. And Knight of Wands tells me that this burden, you are getting uh, away, for, away from it. You're moving away from it because the 9 is the end in the tarot. 10 is end. You are standing before a decision and leaving all this shit that happened in the past uh, with your, um, perhaps with your mom and dad, with uh, previous relationships, you are letting it go. You are letting the whole past go and start anew. Start anew with your twin flame and leaving all these negative emotions behind. And also the feeling I have missed an opportunity. I want to take another look at this okay seven of cups fantasy and temptation so you're just fantasizing right now how it could be how it should be and but you need to take action knight of swords self-sabotage and nightmares so you are self-sabotaging yourself you are sabotaging yourself nine of wands nine of swords means for me to me it means you are leaving this energy behind you're leaving this energy, this negative thinking behind. And you are going to the Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Satisfaction and wish fulfillment. This is what you want and you are going to take action towards your Divine Feminine and make a decision for communication. I want to reach out on this one. Okay. Yeah. This is beautiful. Uh, the Three of Swords, a heartache. So perhaps you're in a separation mode right now. This Three of Heart, this Three of Swords, is the card that leads to communication. It leads to um, action. It leads to doing things. Ten of Swords, a painful ending. This negative thinking, this negative, this heartache, this will end. Ten of Swords is an ending uh, of thinking, an ending of. Uh, lack of um, action and there is temperance there is restoration you are now in a restoration phase to move forward it could be that you are moving forward from moving away from your karmic partner that you are that you dealt with perhaps you already um, closed everything with your karmic partner or you need to do this 
but energetically i have a feeling uh, for them for a lot of you energetically you are still a bit connected with it not with your twin not with your karmic partner but with everything around it the whole energy that is that needs to be cleared that needs to be healed this whole energy of not going forward towards your twin flame has to do with a lot of issues from the past that need to be healed energetically. You need to come into your balance. You need to come into your strength. As soon as you do so, then you will open up to your twin flame. Okay? So, Divine Feminines, if you listen to this um, reading, I hope this helps. And um, take also for yourself that you need to let go of all this negative emotions regarding your divine masculine energy in yourself okay so thank you very much and hope this helps namaste and see you next time